Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today we're going to take an old belt and make a bushcraft chair. Stay tuned. The first thing you need to look for is an old leather belt. And I picked this one up uh, at a yard sale, flea market, and it's an old uh, police belt actually. You can see the design there. And what I did is I took two different buckles from uh, different belts and then I, I riveted them on using some copper rivets. So it's not very long, it's about 16 inches or so. And it's basically wide enough for your bottom to sit on, right? You need something that you can sit on. All right, now one hint, make sure that these are not brass. If you can, copper or steel buckles. Uh, I had two brass buckles break on me while I was making this project, so that's something you want to know. So basically you can do it this way. If you don't have any copper rivets, you can actually use small nuts and bolts and washers and then peen them over uh, with a hammer so that you don't have any rough edges because you want everything pretty smooth so when you sit on it, it doesn't snag on your pants. The next thing you're going to need is a large hose clamp. This is a stainless steel clamp. It's about a four inch in diameter and you can put two smaller ones to two inches together for instance but I like just carrying one and I have a video about hose clamps for survival and I'll try to remember and put a link to it down below. Next you want to take your saw and you want to go out into the woods and try to find a couple of Y sticks. Now I'm a pretty heavy guy so I need some heavy duty sticks so these are these are pretty big around about as big around as that circle so just kind of a, a guess and a Y stick on the bottom and you want to get two of these. So what you end up with is two sticks that are basically exactly the same cut to the same length with the nice Y at the bottom. I was fortunate enough to find a down wild cherry that was exactly what I needed and actually had a couple of forks that were almost perfectly symmetrical. If you look around you'll be able to find something. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the hose clamp and we're going to slide it down over top of both of these sticks and you may have to loosen this a little. You can use your multi-tool. Uh, it doesn't have to be really tight but uh, you can just go ahead and slide that down there just like this and you want it pretty far down. So something about like that so that we can take these and pull them apart just like this. And that's what it looks like when we get it spread apart. Next you want to take one of your buckles and see how wide the buckle is so that it can slide over and then you want to cut out on the sides and a notch in the middle so that the buckle can fit inside just like that and you'll do that to both sides. Then you simply take the other buckle and put it in the other side like that that you've cut. Make sure that these legs are properly splayed out directly opposite from each other just like this. And just like that we have a comfortable bushcraft chair and all you have to carry is a hose clamp and a belt that you've modified. You can have a comfortable seat anywhere you go. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the down arrow. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.